Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my makeup because it's been so long since I've done it. And I thought I'd do a little um, chit chat, get ready with me kind of thing. And sorry if I'm speaking low, but I have a little newborn, so I need to be as quiet as I can be. But basically what this chit chat is gonna be about is basically like a pregnancy update and what has been happening since the last video I made. So yeah, so your girl had her baby. Um, what I was planning to do is, on my last video, I don't even remember how many weeks I was, but basically um, I was planning to do a, um, a kind of weekly vlog when I went on mat leave. And so, cause I had, I, start, I started mat leave about three weeks before my due date. So I started my leave October 1st and I was supposed to be due October 22nd. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just do weekly vlogs and, you know, give you guys pregnancy updates and the going ons of my life. Didn't work out that way. Um, the weeks leading to my mat leave were so busy. Like, um, I had so much going on with work and then I had my maternity shoot and then I had my, um, I need to sharpen this. Give me a second. Yeah, so sorry, I just did my eyebrows off camera just because A, the lighting just went out all of a sudden. And also because I can't concentrate doing my eyebrows and talking at the same time. So, where was I? Yeah, so I was basically really busy with um, work and getting my maternity shoot done and as well as my baby shower. So I was really frazzled the last week out, the last two weeks I was at work. So by the time I started my mat leave, I pretty much took like a week or I told myself I was going to take a week to, you know, just get myself back together and just have some me time because I'm like, okay, when the baby comes, I won't have any time for myself. So I might as well take advantage of it while I still can now. Good thing I did. So uh, basically I was just like, okay, I'll take a week off and then I'll start, uh, recording again and literally like the week that I was expecting to start recording that's when everything went down so um, when was it yeah the baby was supposed to be due on the 22nd and I had her on the 13th which is nine days early which is unheard of for a first-time mom because that's what everybody told me so everyone was just like oh the baby's gonna be late more than likely you know so I was under the impression that I had so much time to get so much done whatever whatever but the funny thing is every time people kept telling me that I was just like I know my baby and I know how she's been so far I feel like she's gonna come early but you know everybody thinks they know you better than you know yourself like all of a sudden everyone seems like they're um obstetricians or yeah obstetricians all of a sudden so everybody knows about babies everybody knows that your baby is going to be just like theirs blah 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 so anyways yeah so i had the baby on the 13th today is the 19th so she'll be a week tomorrow and i think this video will be going up tomorrow so yeah so this video will be up for her one week Kind of anniversary and i definitely will do a labor and delivery video probably tomorrow or something but the thing is with a newborn you're so limited in time that like i'm surprised i'm even able to do this and this is the first time that i probably look like a normal human being since having my baby oh by the way my labor was 36 hours but i'll tell you guys about that in the labor and delivery video but honestly this is nothing like i expected like i thought that the hardest part of having a baby was gonna be the labor and everything else would be smooth sailing like even the pregnancy i was just like thinking that the pregnancy was hard but like labor is hard but it gets harder like having the baby after the labor is the hardest part in my opinion um just because like now you have this human being who relies on you and um sorry i'm just gonna sit under my eye so it doesn't crease 
I know that's a lot of power. Yeah, you now have this new life who uh, relies on you, and it's just, it's different. It's so different. Um, I found that I'm such a go with the flow kind of person, and I don't really ever stress about things. But since having this girl, like, literally, I stress nonstop. I cry nonstop. Like, I cry about the smallest things, which pisses me off because. If anyone knows me, they know that I don't like to show emotions. Like, I will laugh through any and everything. But since having her, like, I, I promise you, I cry for everything. Even if someone says something to me, I cry. Like, having a child, it was nothing like I expected it to be at all. I find that, like, the pregnancy is the easiest, then the labor, and then after that, the hardest part is life after labor. Because now you have this new human being who depends on you. And it really is like the biggest responsibility ever. Like even the smallest little cries that she makes like makes my heart jump. Like if she's if she takes two breaths instead of one, then I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, like is she choking on something? Like why? Like what's wrong with her? Like I since having her, I've been to the emergency room at least once and she hasn't even been here for a week. So that just goes to show you just how stressful this whole situation is. Like, oh, I didn't even set my... Oh, whatever. Yeah, so... Um, what was I saying? Stress, yes. But not for nothing. Yes, it's stressful, but I'm so happy. Like, I'm always so in awe of her. Sometimes we'll sit when she's acting right. And I'll just, like, stare at her. And she'll stare back at me with these, like pretty she has my eyes by the way so they're just so cute on a baby and I'm just I'm in love with her and I honestly will say knock on wood I am very lucky because she actually sleeps really well like she wakes up to eat and then after that she just sleeps the rest of the day now that she's about a week old she definitely is more alert and she'll stay up for like probably an hour like 30 minutes to an hour without not even needing food or anything she'll just stay up and like stare around like if you hold her in your lap she'll just like look at you look around and stuff like that so it definitely i'm very thankful that i have such a well behaved a newborn because i i've seen horror stories like especially i was worried that she might be colicky because my nieces are colicky and so far she's been really really good um and i've been breastfeeding which y'all the struggle the struggle is real with breastfeeding i honestly see the reason why a lot of people opt out of breastfeeding just because it is so much that goes into it and it's just really overwhelming and um, my whole thing was I wanted to breastfeed my whole pregnancy up until like at least a year and then after that I'd probably pump her milk for another year like just to keep her just on strictly breast milk like I didn't want to do formula at all and I did really well like I did just breast milk for the first five days but then we have a latching issue and I'm supposed to go tomorrow to see a lactation specialist I don't know if it's on her end or my end, but it, she like whenever she latches, she drinks and everything, but then it leaves my nipples like really sore and really like, like literally she, I had to get this steroid cream because before when I started breastfeeding, I just used this thing called linoleum, lanolin um, ointment, and you're supposed to put that on your breast every time after you breastfeed so that you can... Um, prevent any cracking or anything like that but I actually had to go to this extra strength ointment that the doctor gave me because my nipples were literally cracked and bleeding and to the point that on both of them actually some of the skin had peeled off and then it was just like bare meat so it wasn't like my aerial is my yeah my nipple is really small so it wasn't like a lot of exposure but it's just like a little like tiny like I know it's very graphic but like that's what I mean and I don't know if it has to do with the way that she's eating or maybe because of my boobs or whatever but like I have humongous hold on these things have grown a lot and like the camera probably doesn't do them justice but so I don't know if it's that my boobs are too big or maybe like her sucking like she's like a vacuum cleaner like I is so aggressive 
so I know that has something to do with it as well but it just like made me sad because I breastfed for the five days and like I mean every time I breastfed I was crying like I felt so bad because like I actually dread when she would get hungry because I'm just like I know the pain I'm about to be in and but I didn't want to give up but um, the other day well yesterday I was just like you know what like this is getting too much and I wasn't allowing my breasts to heal because with newborns they're feeding every two to three hours for like 30 minute stretches and stuff like that so my breasts weren't getting a break and on top of it I'll just get into all that in another video but today uh, yesterday I took a break and I, I just gave her formula and then I pumped and I gave her some of the pump milk so um, the formula I put it away I only wanted to do that for 24 hours but now I'm pumping milk and like literally I'm pumping a lot now like on one today I got like two ounces in one sitting which is a lot um, so I'll definitely be pumping to her until everything heals and the steroid cream you know does its magic and then I'll try to go back to breastfeeding her because I do want to continue to breastfeed her because it's just like it's a bonding thing to me like I, I love how like it's our time to just like stare into each other's eyes we just like I love it like I wouldn't trade it for the world but I do love pumping because the thing is with breastfeeding it's so inconvenient because you can't breastfeed when you're out in a well you can but I'm very private I don't want to whip out my boobs so like if I had family over like I, I, I had to leave the room and go breastfeed her or like if we're out somewhere I'm just like okay like where am I gonna go to breastfeed her I can't pull her out of the car seat to feed her and stuff so it's just very overwhelming and even with hubby like bless his soul the first couple of days when we got home he was up with me at night with her but he couldn't do anything because when she would wake up in the middle of the night she just wanted to feed so he can't feed her so he's just like sitting there staring at us being up and it was to the point that I was just like I mean, yeah. I was just like you know what just go to sleep because there's nothing for you to do and I felt bad because it affects the way that they bond too because he wants to bond with her so I definitely think that me pumping and having bottles ready is good not only for me to be able to get rest but for him to bond with her and then like if we have family and friends come over they can feed her as well so I'm definitely happy with that um, y'all I haven't had no time for myself whatsoever no time to film nothing like I felt so bad because I really 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 wanted to film while I was on mat leave and I know that mat leave just started but like I really wanted to get a lot of things done and I find that like so far I haven't got anything done but I will say especially from today I realized that there is a silver lining and I will be able to get stuff done it's just a matter of getting used to being a new mom and juggling like what's important versus what's not important and not freaking out all the time about every single thing that's going on which is harder said than done uh, but I definitely will try to film more don't quote me because you guys already know me oh the sun's coming out here hold on yeah don't quote me because y'all know i'm so flaky when it comes to filming anyways like i can't even blame it on having a baby because i was this way before the baby but i definitely will because i'm home all day try to film some videos here and there maybe even some vlogs like i'm actually now getting the hang of being a new mom so hopefully I can start doing normal things that I enjoy and just managing my time better but yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys and just let you know like what has gone on so the baby is here I will be uh, introducing you guys to her sometime soon I just I won't end this video because she's already sleeping and I don't want to wake her up and also, I don't know, like, I really thought I was going to be that mom who would, like, Instagram everything about my kid. But all of a sudden, I got really, like, private and just, like, very protective of her. And so, I haven't been posting. I haven't even posted on social media. I've sent pictures to a few friends just because they've been nagging about it. But I don't know. It's, like, it's weird. Like, I just kind of want to keep her to myself. And I don't know. I'm, maybe it's just, like, I'm just a weird person. But I definitely will introduce you guys to her. I definitely will have the video up about the labor and delivery. I will also have videos up about breastfeeding and the, like the pros and cons of that. Stuff that I didn't realize about being a new parent. Like just a lot of stuff that I feel that especially like first time moms they definitely enjoy to watch and know that they're not alone in these feelings because 
I promise you guys, I felt so alone in everything that I've been doing because I don't know if I'm doing anything right and like I kick myself, like especially about like not being able to exclusively breastfeed. Like I was kicking myself so much about that and I had to really get to the point that I was just like, you know what? Like you're worried about the wrong things. At the end of the day, it's, the importance is the health of your baby and whatever you need to do to provide for her, you do it and you, you don't think about other people's opinions because everyone is different, everyone does things differently and like there's no there's no picture perfect storybook way to do things people will give you their opinions but that's exactly that their opinions and you need to do what is best for you and your child like if people give you advice yeah sure take it but take it with a grain of salt and just try to follow what is best for you and your family and especially like again with the breastfeeding thing like i had to come to the realization that it doesn't define me as a person nor does it define my child as a person like the fact that I was willing to you know go through all the work to try to breastfeed and try to make sure that I was giving her everything that she needed like it didn't make me a bad mom that I couldn't breastfeed like I wanted to hold on this is looking a hot mess yeah so as I was saying I had to learn that it doesn't make me a bad mom because I couldn't you know breastfeed exclusively like I wanted to and at the end of the day, it's, the most important thing is the health of your child and making sure that they're okay. So if they're okay, like, there's nothing to stress about. Plus, like, think about it. How, how often in your life do you think people are going to go through and be like, oh, did you breastfeed? No. Oh, my God, you're such a horrible parent. Like, do what is best for you. I know there are some women who absolutely will breastfeed. I know some women, like, they're just like, yeah, flat out, nope. I just want to give her, give my child formula and... You know, that's okay because we're all different. We all do things differently. Yo, know, by the way, the hyperpigmentation, I'm waiting for that to go away. So let's let's see what happens. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just, I don't know. I find, especially if anyone is like me, as a first time parent, you try to be like so perfect. And sometimes you kind of stress yourself out by making certain things more important than they need to be especially people's opinions like that was something else I was struggling with was so many opinions so many people had something to say about what I was doing like even with my parents I like it was getting on my nerves because like they're just like oh like back in the day we did things like this or like we don't do things like this and then like it makes you feel bad because you're just like like why are you doing that like why don't you just let me parent the way I want to parent like don't make me feel bad because I'm not doing stuff your way. You got your chance to be a parent. Let me have my chance to be a parent. Like, I appreciate the advice, but it's just like, when people kind of give you advice, like, I don't know, it's just like, when it, it's overwhelming because you have so many people trying to give you advice and so many people, like, kind of making you, I know it's not intentional, but they kind of make you feel bad about being a parent, like you're intentionally trying to kill your child. And although it comes from a good place, like, sometimes it's just like, can you not, like, just let me be me and let me raise my child how I want to raise them? Like, I don't know. I'll do another video on that as well. Just, I know all this stuff is probably jumbled, but I just wanted to get this video done and get it out to you guys. Um, any other first-time moms or moms in general, like, if you have any advice or if you have anything to say about your experience by all means leave it in the comments below because I'd love to read about them I'd love to hear what other people have experienced as well because I know we all have our own experiences but sometimes it's nice to have people to relate to as well but I'm definitely happy that she's here I'm definitely happy that all this is done and it was most definitely worth it all that like all the tears and all the stress and all the crazy cravings and stuff like it's still really hard for me to believe that I'm a mom like I honestly every time I look at her like I cry I know it's cheesy but I do because it's just like this is like mine this is my baby like this is like part of me like I don't know I, I'm just like I'm responsible for this person for the rest of their lives and how they shape out to be an adult and I just feel so lucky like I, f I feel like it's such a blessing to be able to be a parent because some people aren't able to have that chance and I guess like a lot of us take it for granted but I'm just so blessed that I have her and she's 
again biased parent but she's just so perfect to me and she it, it's just funny because I can see both me and her dad's personalities in her why is this not sticking okay I'm gonna just wait for this to dry a little and get tacky but yeah it's just so cool to see me and her dad's personalities in her like certain things that she does I'm just like already me like she already has my temper she already has like my um my curiosity because i've always been one of those people even as a child like i don't talk much i just like observe people and just like observe my surroundings and she's already just like me like everybody who meets her they're just like she is like she is honestly your child she doesn't look like me that much yet but her personality is all me her looks mostly her dad so which i don't mind like i did want her to get her dad's like dimples and lips which she got and like she just i don't know she's she's just a perfect mix of us like she has from here to here it's all me so short forehead small tiny eyes that's all me uh the nose we don't know yet she has a small nose and so do me and my spouse so we don't know whose that is but then she has his like lips because he has a, a defined widow's peak i don't so she has his lips and she has his two little dimples and i think she has my chin which i guess maybe i'm just like reaching because i just want her to look like me so bad but i don't know she's just a perfect little mixture of both of us and she's just so adorable and just sassy already all right guys thank you so much for watching um i would definitely will try to get two videos out a week for you guys i think i can commit to that uh, if you guys have any video suggestions or like i said any tips or any experiences you guys have gone through as new moms leave that in the comments below and until next time bye